Easter, if I recall. And I was down in the gym, and I was working on um, an AAU rental pen. And um, Mr. Washington gave me a call. He said, he think one of our students got hit by a car. And so I went to WRAL, and, um, and I saw it was Kyle. Um, and the, the, look, the, the, the look just was, it didn't look good. That was the first initial he said it was a serious condition. So I immediately called his family, and they had not heard the news. I got his brother-in-law. And um, they had they had gotten information, so I'm calling them to get an update, and they didn't have an update because they didn't know about it. And so after that, I had to wait that whole night before I can get his sister, who just walked in, <laughs> uh, before I can reach his sister the next day. I did not. I was in one of the offices over here, and I'm gonna be honest with you. I did not want to make that call because I had saw a report that Kyle did not make. It. I didn't want to make the call. I didn't know what that call was going to be. I never had a situation like that with one of our students. And so, but I made the call and she said, he's alive. And that's all I need to hear. You can ask her. When she said that, after that, that's the, that was enough glory for me. That he said that he was alive. And that, okay, he broke two legs. They had to put rods in his legs. He had some swelling on the brain. But he was alive and the prognosis was he was going to live. That was a, that was the best thing I might have ever heard in my life. They just to know that one of our students, God's hand was all over him. I mean, then, then I found out that the, when he got hit, the amp, they didn't have to call EMS. They were right there in the parking lot and just ran over. And they said if that wasn't a situation, he probably wouldn't have lived. I mean, that's, that's the glory of God, and that's the favor of God, that he's alive. And without me saying anything else, because I went there, and he preached to me for like 40 minutes when I went to the hospital at the second time. <laughs> so, so this is a part of his recuperation is coming to talk to you because he spoke about you all the whole time about you all needing to hear that God is good that Jesus saved his life literally, figuratively and, uh, and even physically so I'm going to allow him to speak in something that I, I mean when I heard people breaking their legs I seen him not walk for a while the fact that he walk, he's, walk, he's about to walk up here Purposes, uh, we're gonna have to limit to about eight to ten minutes, but I'm sure he's gonna give you enough information um, in that in those few minutes and just give you his heart. Because, like I said, the whole time his heart has been on his classmates. So, Kyle, if you don't mind, you make it over here. I was helped by a wonderful therapist that believes in me and helps encourage me to do better. 
After this accident, I was not able to walk. I was also not able to eat. I wasn't even able to talk. But there were many things that I could do that that I could not do that we normally take for granted. My physical therapist helped me to be able to walk and exercise again. My speech therapist helped me not to struggle. And she helped me with my thinking skills. My occupational therapist helped me learn how to be able to use my hands and stretch. And my recreational therapist introduced me to new activities and gave me the courage to come speak here today. I'm glad I'm here today to speak to y'all guys. Because y'all may have influence on me. But without Jesus, I would not have been able to do all these things. Jesus stands in my heart each and every day. And he has something in store for me. I want to thank everybody here today for keeping me in their prayers. And may God bless all of you.